so it's been two days since my dad died i've been eating eggs and shrimp tacos <laughs> that's really all i had in the house i didn't finish my grocery shopping <clears throat> this has a lot more convenience food than i probably typically eat but i don't know how in the mood i will be to cook over the coming week so i got some sushi from heb this was like a buy one get one free <laughs> so when you see the thing that was free just know that that's why i got it because it was free um pop tarts and these are mostly because the boy's coming over and he loves the heb brand and they don't have a heb in dallas i got the mixla tortillas they're half flour half corn i really like these they don't break at all i got some hot banana pepper rings this is for my salad that i've been eating oh yeah i did have a salad yesterday <clears throat> This is the thing that came free <laughs> with the sushi. Um, you got a free mug treat if you bought certain sushi rolls. So that looked delish. I got four tomatoes for my salads and my turkey burgers, and then also a cucumber. So there's that. And I did get some stuff at the farmer's market the other day, so I have more fruit and stuff than this. I got these Persil um, little washer and dryer things. Uh, that That's not her name anymore. Taylor Wynn had <laughs> recommended these years ago. And I had only used them once, but the last time I got them, I really liked them. And they did really well on my sheets. So I got a small thing of those because I won't be here that much longer. I got um, another thing of shrimp for the shrimp tacos that I've been loving. I also have some slaw in the fridge. I've just been doing shrimp, some spices, cooking them up, and then putting that slaw on the top. It's like super simple and easy. CBD gummy bears. Um, super simple and easy right now. Um, got some bananas and some fresh squeezed orange juice. I love the HEB one. If you're in Texas and you haven't had this stuff, it's absolutely addicting. It won't focus, but you get the idea. <laughs> um, and what else is this? Oh, the zero sugar caramel macchiato coffee creamer from h and Then I got turkey bacon, cured turkey thighs chopped and formed. So it's already pre-cooked. I did get two things of eggs from the farmer's market. And then I got two of the light and fit um, one strawberry one peach yogurt it's an easy little snack i have a bunch of melon like i have some cantaloupe that i feel like would be delish with those um some cheese cubes for my salad i cut the cubes into smaller cubes for the salad i've been eating and the mini pepperonis for the salad as well it's just um whatever lettuce you like some mini pepperonis chopped up cheese banana peppers I use a ranch and then I put that dill pickle seasoning from Trader Joe's. Um, is it in the front still? It's in there somewhere. I already used one whole, one whole container of it and I'm on the second one. It's so good. I rarely like finish off spices like that. A thing of Velveeta for my um, turkey burgers and an H-E-B fresh ranch dressing. Um, this was on BOGO too, but I can't remember what you got. No, um, these were a dollar off. H-E-B always has deals. It was a dollar off of house made dressing this week. And then this one has um, some turkey, also for my salad. I got two different kinds, just a quarter pound of each. Um, this one is post oak smoked and then this one is peppered and then i got a thing of iceberg lettuce i like iceberg sometimes a thing of diced tomatoes i like to saute these up with my eggs or put them on my turkey burgers and then one more melon because you can never have too many melons this is the lemon pop and it's very very good I've tried the sugar rush as I have in the fridge, I think, 
and there's one other like seasonal one but the lemon pop is really interesting because <laughs> it looks like a honeydew melon but then it has like a little bit of zesty like tanginess to it which is really fun so i got that so that is my hb haul i don't know what i'm getting ready to do i have to work at four five and six so four <laughs> to like 6 45 very short like session today and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my hb haul and i put this stuff away i actually haven't had breakfast so that's why i got that sushi i'm gonna have sushi for lunch um i drink like a couple sips of coffee um and i'll probably finish that and i will check in with you guys later making my tacos with slaw tonight i'm using this um ww seasoning i really like it you can probably find one similar to it <laughs> that's not ww um it comes in three separate packages i've used one of them so i'm gonna use about half of one on my shrimp and then sprinkle a little bit of it into my slaw i'm gonna make like an asiany type slaw these are definitely a fusion taco <laughs> and for the slaw i just have like the pre-made slaw stuff you use a little bit of this a little bit of this and then a sprinkle of this mostly just for the sesame seeds um you know i like the look of them and then i'm gonna mix this up and that'll go on top of my tacos and there's my quick dinner this literally took like 15 minutes if that um shrimp tacos with some slaw and some baby corn and I just use the same sauce and seasoning that I used in the slaw on my corn and I put it in the air fryer for like eight minutes maybe and we're done okay here's the stuff oh my gosh <laughs> I forgot to cut the tomato I'm gonna cut the tomato here's the stuff for my salad that's all chopped up so everything's in the bowl I measured out three tablespoons of ranch and then I put a good splash of that um banana pepper juice and then I'm gonna add some of the dill pickle seasoning which won't focus there we go and some black pepper mix it all up put it in a bowl i eat it with a spoon because it's like very chopped it's delicious so my dad's funeral is on the fifth um it's not going to be in detroit like we thought um so we're looking at flights or if it's better to drive we don't really know what we're gonna do yet i did finally get a hold of my brother he um did not care <laughs> i didn't expect him to you steven has a way different relationship with our dad than i do uh he won't even call him our dad he just calls him andre <laughs> so um he did ask for me to tell him he's not on the internet it's not like he'll ever watch this and or like he would care that i'm saying this um just to see if it was anything genetic since my dad um died in his sleep at 56 years old he just wants to know if it was anything that uh you know he should have a doctor look at or that he should keep an eye out for so i will let him know that um but me my mom and my dad are going down um my uncles will be there it's gonna be something else i feel like i've been it's very weird grief you know because sometimes i'm fine and then sometimes i want to cry like <laughs> like right now um it's just like this weird roller coaster and it's usually when i talk to my mom <laughs> my mom definitely i thought that was her makes it the worst because she's always like he was such a great guy when we were together he was a great dad I know how much he loved you blah 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 so not blah 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 just like trying to get it over with and she's right like he was just a really we all loved him my aunt was very sad my aunt went to school with him um after he got out of the military him and my aunt were both in college together so she was really sad about it my grandparents loved him everyone in my family like a lot of dads that aren't there they're like oh it's a deadbeat dad but everyone in my family always loved him and told me how great he was and how funny he was and all these things so i never really had anything bad to think about him except for he wasn't there which <laughs> um 
we had talked about maybe last year and he was just like you know i thought about coming back but i saw how good your life was with your mom and i didn't want to mess it up and he probably would have <laughs> like messed it up <laughs> and he's probably a good judge of character there but you know that's pretty selfless too <sighs> so i'm just a mess <laughs> and it's so weird because oh my my dad he's the sweetest like my actual my dad my actual dad my stepdad <laughs> He's just been so great through this all, like with me and my mom and planning our trip. And this man was looking for flights before we even knew where the funeral is going to be. Such a gem. I love my dad, which his name's also Andre. Both my dad and my stepdad are named Andre. And both of their dad's names are Alfred. How? <laughs> we don't know. We're all just like very confused how we got two Andres and two Alfreds as my dad and my stepdad. It's very weird. But man, I, this is like Nicole 2.0, right y'all? Uh, after Nicole, I cried all the time. <laughs> and now I'm just like crying all the time on and off. <sighs> Cause it's just, just so unexpected. For such a young guy to die. That's my mom. The first thing she said was like, did he have COVID or something? Because she's just like, He's only two years older than her. She couldn't imagine like how he could just die. But anyone can just die. Like anyone can literally die at any time. Which makes life so depressing. <laughs> but I've been in good spirits because it's just been like a lot of good things. <sighs> just hearing good things about him and stuff. So. I'm getting packed for the funeral and trying to get packed for life and now my boyfriend's calling and I'm crying so hello what's up? uh nothing just crying over my dad oh I know and I'm, hey. I'm also vlogging so oh, you no I'm done I don't know why people were blocked to funerals, but I'm just going with it. So I went to Old Navy. It was like one of the few places that I could find black dresses and plus size because Torrid was closed and Lane Bryant was terrible. So I picked out quite a few dresses to try on of what they had in plus size. And I also picked out a couple of like random things like this active dress, which I was too sad to try on after I decided on my funeral dress and this bralette. So this first dress was just like a ribbed t-shirt dress and I felt like it was a little too plain. So I didn't pick that one. I really like this dress. They have it in tan and I might just buy it for casual wear, but this was a 3X and it was too small in the boobs only. Um, and they didn't have a 4X. So this one was out, but I would have liked it probably in a 4X. Um, this dress was in a 4X, but I needed a 3X. It was much too big um, and they didn't have a 3X. I really love the sleeves on it, but when it was worn the way it's intended like this, I felt like it kind of looked like a muumuu so I turned it around backwards so that the v in the back was in the front and if they would have had this in a three I probably would have gone with this dress especially since I feel like I'm never going to want to wear the dress that I bought again after the funeral but I just was showing you that it was backwards and I really liked it I liked that it had pockets I liked it when it was turned around and this is a dress that I actually am taking with me. It's a maxi length dress. It has very similar sleeves to um, the previous one that I tried on. They only had this one in a 4X as well, which it was a little roomy, but it's it's fine. I'm going to wear um, accessories with it. So I'm going to belt it a little bit um, and that'll be fine. I like the V on it. I like the back. So that's the dress. I clearly need to <laughs> charge my phone. But I'm on my 12-day streak of Duolingo because we're going to be in Mexico for a bit. So I want to make sure that I brush up on my Spanish a little bit. I'm all packed for the road trip with four humans and two dogs. Because <laughs> my parents didn't want to have anyone dog sit because they didn't want the girls to be like by themselves all day. 
um because most of the people that could come could only like come let them out outside so it should be a fun time <laughs> thank you guys for watching um right now i'm just picking out what i'm gonna wear in the car tossing any veggies so that they're not stinky when i get back i tried to like not buy too much stuff so there shouldn't be too much in there um getting my bag together with like my steamer all of my skincare all of that kind of stuff and that's really it wrapping up so that i can edit this video it'll be up a day late sorry <laughs> and yeah this week was a crazy week it was my anniversary this past weekend um we bridge our time so we say eight years together even though it's like been four and a half years this time three and a half years the time before i'll put in the now my boyfriend's calling first my battery died now my boyfriend's calling um Oh, I'll put in the footage from our anniversary weekend that I posted on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram and you want to see cute stuff, you should follow me there. I'll call him right back. Um, until next week, get out there, love life, and um, hug your loved ones. Tell them that you love them. And I will talk to you guys really, really soon. I'm exhausted. If you can't tell, I'm so tired. And um, we're leaving around noon tomorrow. I still have to go get a new ponytail because the one I have is looking a little raggedy and a lint roller because we're traveling with the dogs and they are so, so hairy. So lint roller and a ponytail in the morning. Got deodorant today. <sighs> what an adventure crazy i still can't believe i'm going to my dad's funeral it's like i was just washing my face and i'm like i can't believe i'm leaving for my dad's funeral tomorrow crazy all right love y'all bye